guys, I don't, I don't even know where to begin. And this one, this one really, really hit home for me. Um, this is new, guys. I don't, I don't usually do this. I never have done this. Um, but this is something I have to talk about. And what I have to talk about is what occurred on April the 9th. And that was the release of the final chapter of Attack on Titan, chapter 139. Um, if you guys catch my streams, I stream usually Wednesday through, through Sunday. But on my streams, this is where I usually stream. And if you always, if you catch it, well, you know, you always see behind me what I have sitting behind me. I have a tag on Titan right here, right there, right over my shoulder, right there. Point two, right there. Um, when I say that this was mm, the best and most well-written animes, in history, or my, my sorry, I'm, I'm my mistake. Well written mangas in history. I stand by that, but not anymore. Um, the last chapter. Let me say this. I'm not going to go so far as to say it was a, a travesty. I'm not going to go that far. But the last chapter definitely, definitely was not what it should have been. And what I mean by it should have been, and I want you guys, guys, you all who are, who are watching this, first of all, A, it's in the title, but it's going to be massive spoilers, of course. But I want you guys, as I always say in any of my talks that I always talk about, I want you guys to come in here with an open mind. And what I mean by that is I don't want you guys to be so blinded by the love and admiration you have for the series to not look and listen to reason. And what I mean by reason is I mean logical elements and, and pieces of the story that don't particularly add up. You know, do not be a fan so much to where you're a fan of something that can blatantly lie to you and you say, oh, okay, I understand. Don't do that. I'm not saying it lied, but what I'm saying is don't put it so high on the pedestal to where you think it can do no wrong or anybody can do no wrong because that only is going to lead to disappointment um, when that happens. So I want you guys to come in here with an open mind. I want you guys to, 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 to sit down. I want you guys to sit back. I want you guys to relax. I want you guys to watch this. And hopefully I can articulate this in a manner that logically represents what I am feeling and hopefully you all are feeling as well or some of you are feeling as well. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to talk, right? We're just, I'm just going to have a discussion. It's just me by myself, just going to have a discussion and we're going to talk about the elements and themes and different things that this series has just brought out of everyone. And we're just going to touch on a few things and I'm going to go into my overall review and feeling of the final chapter of Attack on Titan. So I want to first start off with I absolutely fell in love with the character progression of Aaron Yeager. I personally thought that Aaron Yeager was the most captivating and well-written character in manga history. I know that's saying a lot, but again, that was my feelings towards this individual. I thought Isayama 
created a gem of a character in Aaron Yeager. Because if you go all the way back from chapter one, all the way up, his character progression was so interchanging and it was interwoven in the story and it was it was a masterpiece. It was it was a masterpiece to me. Um just his overall character and, and, and who he was and his growth and everything. Um and that's mainly what we're gonna be more so talking about here. In this in this final chapter, there's gonna be there's gonna be portions to where I'm gonna explain about things I didn't agree with, but this all falls on Aaron Yeager's shoulders, and I'm gonna tell and explain my reasonings as to why. Okay, so if we go through the chapter, for those who have read the chapter, you guys know chapter 139 starts with. Armin and Aaron talking um, in the path dimension. Um, he's basically asking Aaron about why did he basically attack him and during that time they had this sit down meeting and different things when he told them that he hated them and hated Mikasa and all that stuff. So he was just asking about him to expound on that a little bit or whatever. Like, you know, made a little kind of like a little snide, a little joke. Like, yeah, he didn't have to need me, right? <sighs> so you had that going on. And so they were talking and different things of that nature. And so the conversation progressed and then he started to basically reveal to Armin that 80% of the world got destroyed. He destroyed 80% of the world. Um, he, he destroyed 80% of the world. And that um, even if they were to be attacked, Paradise or Paradise, however you say it, uh, their homeland, it, would, it wouldn't be attacked or even be in any remote danger for years to come. Because he devastated 80% of the population. Okay, so then we go into them talking about um, Ymir going to going into um, the whole Ymir situation. Uh, he then explains to Armin that Ymir was in the path dimension waiting for the most unlikely person you could possibly think of at that time was she was waiting for Mikasa. <laughs> um, so she was waiting for Mikasa. And by her waiting for Mikasa or whatever, Armin asked the question, why? Why, 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 why do you say that? Or, or why, right? Aaron's response was, I don't know Ymir's heart. Basically, he's what he said. I don't know Ymir's heart. So, in layman's terms, he's basically saying he doesn't know why. He has no idea as to why. Um, why he doesn't know. He doesn't know. He he just doesn't know. Um. <laughs> so I'm gonna do y'all one better. I'm gonna pull it up because I, I don't. I want to do it justice. I don't want to. Say, oh, well, you know, I'm saying it wrong or whatever. It's not real. So I don't want to say that wrong. So let me let me pull it up here. Let's uh, let's pull it up here. We're going to go over here. We'll do this. We'll do that. I'm going to have a. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go live. All right, let's go live. All right. All right. Let's uh, uh let's do this. Right. So I want you all to see everything. Side so that. All right. So let's let's look at this. Let's look at this together, y'all. 
Let's look at this together. I got it pulled up here. <sighs> okay, he basically was stating, you know, why did she do this, like I said before. So he's going to go through here. And then he basically says, Aaron, did you push us away? All the way just so you could set us up as the heroes that saved all of humanity. Aaron said that's right. He said all the remaining people in the world now owe you all a tremendous debt. Even among the island devils there were those on Paradise Island that opposed what I did and kept their humanity. The world would now hold you in the highest regard. At least that was my plan. So then, then he said this. But then you say you wanted to protect paradise from the vengeance of the people outside the walls, like just like the Tiber family did after the Great Titan War. He stated they won't be able to take revenge anytime soon. I don't know what. 80% of all humans were killed during the Rumbling. They won't be able to go into battle. So, he just revealed to, to, to Armin, as I said earlier, to reiterate, that 80% of humanity was destroyed. Since 80% of humanity was destroyed, there's no way that they're going to be able to, to, to counter or do anything because 80% of them were destroyed. Um, so... So I'm going to go through here. Uh, I said, do you really need to go that far? All of this was really for our sake. Where are you to where we always wanted to go? Let's continue talking while we're talking. So as you see, as you can see, again, this is for those who's already read it and things that nature of those who haven't read it, kind of going into a little in-depth thing, speeding through it. Um, but for the most part, as you saw there in the lava, you see that their age, they're progressing. Here's when they were kids, they're kind of progressing a little bit, getting older. Once he's taking him there. Okay, and so now again, we're back to where I was before when she was talking about Ymir. Well, he was talking about Ymir. He said after basically she she obtained the power, and then after she obtained the power, they rival God in front of her enemy who burned basically in front of her enemy who burnt down burnt down her home killed her father and tore out her tongue she continued to submit what in the world made her choose this i encountered her in the past and understood what she was feeling it's hard to believe but her founding your mirror was in love with Carl Fritz. now this this is where i take issue this is where I take and have a problem with because once again, this was not what it alluded to. This is not what the narration of the story alluded to. And let me say this, when it comes to writing, I, I write personally, I write. Am I a world renowned author? No. But I do know when it comes to stories, and elements in the story, there needs to be a basis of connection from this. If one of you all can explain to me how that is even remotely a, um, a possibility, if that's even remotely a possibility, I want you all to explain it to me. I, I really do. I want you all to explain it to me and let me know because maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm blind here. But to me, that right there, that's not what the story or any of the story progression even led to. I digress. So he says she was, she was in love with him. He's even confused. Armin right here is even confused. He's like, huh? Let's, let's, let's zoom in a little bit too. So here you go. So Armin's even confused. He's like, huh? The fuck are you talking about, right? He's like, what the hell are you talking about? So he's even confused. <sighs> it's crazy. So then he says that's the true reason that Ymir's restriction has persisted for the last 2,000 years. 
her restriction. I couldn't look any deeper into the founders, into the founder Yamir's heart, but I know for certain she was in pain, wishing for freedom. So he's basically standing like I said, I'm kind of rereading this and going through this myself again. Um, and I'm kind of giving my interpretation. So this is the second time. This is the third time I'm reading this. So I'm hopefully I'm picking up on something or missing something. But said I couldn't look any deeper into the founders of marriage heart, but I know for certain she was in pain, wishing for freedom. Freedom from what? See, and that's the point. Listen, look, okay. She here go. She waited two thousand years for someone. She continued to hope that someone could free her from the pain of her love. Finally, they arrived. That person was Mikasa. What? Did you just say me because I did? You really weren't listening, were you? I was listening. Why was it me because I well, That's something only the founder of your mirror would know. Even I am still wondering why, what me because will do. I still don't know. See. Oh man. Let me get a drink. See, that goes against, that goes against my favorite chapter by far on this type, on, on the, in this, in this manga. My favorite chapter by far was chapter 121. 121 was the, the most, the, the best chapter to me personally in the series. Best chapter in the series to me. You know, I, I love surprises. I love amazing surprises. Best chapter in the series, to me. My opinion, but whatever. That right there is is, is what bothers me. Because if you, 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 you well, well, it goes against, the, Mama said, it, it goes against the foundations of chapter 121 and 122. Because in those particular chapters, Aaron was the one who said, you've been waiting for someone for 2,000 years. You've been waiting for someone. And he was the person. Ymir's story or as small as it was did not entail anything about her loving this man. Saying that she was in love with him. No, you weren't in love with some sadistic fuck. You weren't in love with that. Again, they, they reference I've seen other people's videos. They say it was the Stockholm Syndrome situation where people fall in love with their captors and things of that nature. But that's that still wasn't love. You weren't in love. Mikasa was in love with Aaron. That's love. She was willing to put her life on the line every time, regardless of where she was going or where he was at. She was willing to go in that motherfucker and, and take out souls, right, for him. That that's borderline obsession, but you get the you get my point, right? This girl, Ymir, was basically tortured. Her family was killed. She was a slave. She was nothing. She was lower than low, but, but a mere servant to this man. And she's like, oh, and he's like, oh, well, um, she was in love with him. So she was waiting for somebody that could free her from that love of him. What sense does that make? In any shape or form, what sense does that make? That was not the focal point of her story. The focal point of her story was that she was a slave that was used to the delight of King Fritz. King Fritz was basically a crazy king who wanted to take over and he used her powers to 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 carve out his his legacy if you will of 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 conquest that was his that was her thing she felt as though she was a slave hence her little portion that you read in chapters prior to of her freeing the pigs because she you know symbolically felt as though that if i free the pigs at least the, I see the pigs in myself because they're being held in captivity. So by in part of them being free, I can get some semblance of comfort knowing that I freed them since I myself cannot be free. 
right? Right. So uh, the uh, the aspect of her being in love with him doesn't make sense. It just it out of it's it's out of left field. It just doesn't fucking make sense. Okay. So you got that that little bullshit that totally right. <sighs> and it's crazy. So and here we go. Let's keep let's keep going. Says I can only say one thing for certain. You mirror choosing me because so was what led to this end result. Everything was only for the sake of reaching this end result. All I did was follow that path. Okay. I massacred eighty percent of all of humanity. I made all of Paradise Island start killing each other. I got my precious friends dragged into this war. All the while not knowing if any of them were even still alive. So that was the future that you saw at the medal award ceremony. It must have been painful to carry that burden all alone. Armin, my thoughts have become incoherent. I am the, the influence that the founders' powers bring about have no past or future. They all exist at the same time. And that's why... It was inevitable on that day at that time. Berto wasn't yet supposed to die. That's why I overlooked that and I sent. See. See, this is shit I'm talking about. When I talk about stories, when I talk about things like make it make sense i always say that quote make it make sense again this is the first time i'm doing a video like this guys so bear with me but things like that that does not make sense that does not make sense this whole little thing right here that doesn't make sense because you're telling me that the driving point of of the story was for you you kill your own mother why what fucking sense does that make for you to kill your own mother see what's gonna happen is people gonna be like well you know for him to do that was the only way that it was gonna motivate the Aaron at that time period and at that at that portion right it would motivate him to do what he did that would lead him on his journey no motherfuckers you could have done anything you could have you could have let anybody do something because he, again his aspirations for freedom were already there he already was preaching to mikasa about fight fight you have to fight if you don't fight you're gonna die he was preaching that as a kid and his mom was still alive at the time when uh uh his dad and him were visiting mikasa's parents up in the farm, in the, in the mountains. So he already had that innate desire to to be free. To, to, to say, again, his quote that he said in chapter 121, I will not hesitate to take someone's freedom if they're trying to take it from me. He already had that ingrained in him. That was even prior to his mother even being eaten. So what was the fucking point of his mother being eaten? So you can't tell me that shit. You can't say, oh, well, it was to drive that airing for that portion to go on the journey that he did. No, spare me that bullshit. Spare me the theatrics. That's not the case. I'm talking about he, well, that's this bullshit. This bullshit. Because again, at that particular time, you're going to now, what was the point of him questioning Reiner? What was the point of him sitting down with Reiner talking about why was my mother eating that day? And you're blaming Reiner for that. No, you don't need to blame. Yo, why are you blaming Reiner for that? It was your fucking fault. According to this piece of shit, according to this, this ridiculousness, he, you did it. Why are you blaming him? You did it. You, you. Not Reiner, you. So, hey. <clears throat> mm. Anyway, let's keep going. CJ, let's go here. 
and he, he not she <laughs> he looked like a girl right there but he said yeah, let's go here all right so now we're in this part so what did you think about what about me do you think she can forget you and live happily with someone else just as you'd wished well I don't know and then he punched he army proceeds to punch him ouch don't give me that nonsense I don't remember forgiving you for what you'd said how do you feel about bluntly turning down Mikasa's feelings for you did you think you could get away with simply saying forget about me to Mikasa the one person who put her life on the line just for you Mikasa ought to forget about a heartbreaker like you and find happiness elsewhere. She might easily find a good man. No. I don't want that. I want her to only have feelings for me. I don't want her to find another guy. Even after I die, I want her to hold me in her heart for a long time. I want her to hold me in her heart for a long time. Uh, I see I didn't see this part this part here this part here is utter trash and and, I, and, and, I, and I'm saying this and I'm getting very very heated with this because I, I've I've again I have a a, a burning uh, um I had, I had I had a burning sense of of, of, of satisfaction for this uh manga I, I loved it I, I mean you can ask anybody i preached this manga i was i was so in awe as i said before i was so in awe of the of the character and and and, and the progression in which he was written and the way he was written that this this dribble this 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 nonsense here that you see on the page it, it's it's bullshit to me. And the reason it's bullshit to me is once again, make it make sense, guys. This is going to be a theme. This is going to be a theme uh, of this video. Make it make sense. Because that does not make sense to me. You had from a chapter one on to now until this portion, this man, there were no signs of, of no signs through the narration we read of this man being madly in love with her. There were no signs of that at all. Every time she would do something or she would say something or whatever, what have you, it was always kind of like a little uh, brush your shoulder off, right? Season two, guys, season two of the anime series. When he, the smiling titan, showed up, right? And she was about to, I guess, confess her love to him or whatever. It was like, ah, blah, blah, blah. he said, you know, I'll always wrap the scarf around you. I got you. Move your ass over. I'm mad now. I ain't touched the fucking, touch, touch the bitch and, and activated the, the coordinate powers, right? So I'm like, okay, cool. Keep going. Keep it moving. There were no signs. No signs. At all. At all. No signs. At all. Of him having, sharing the same feelings that she has for him and him for her. No signs. No signs. Nobody can show me that. And if you doubters or whomever want to say, well, he did ask her about you know what was he to her what was it what was yeah what was he to her that again the way it was written guys context matters but Let, let's let's focus on that and that's why i want people to make it make sense to me context matters the context of that whole arc portion that flashback sequence the context of that was that Aaron was struggling to understand what he had seen. It, that was already established. We understood that. 
He was struggling to understand what he was seeing and he was trying to make sense of the future in which he saw. So he was in turn testing the waters, dipping his toe, as you will, to test the temperature of the water to see uh, maybe what I have seen is not the case. So maybe what I've seen can possibly change. Right. So that was his whole mindset during that portion, that arc when they went to visit Marley before the enraged invasion. That was when they were meeting and the so-called United Nations were meeting about what they should do with the Islanders. Right. So they had went to the little festival thing. This was on the chapter the where they saved the little pickpocket boy that was about to be killed and hung in the street. Whatever. We don't know. He was about to get fucked up in the streets. So they saved him. So we already understood that he was once again in his mode. He was still like he, he was fighting. That was, that, was the, that was the fucking beauty of his character. It, 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 it pisses me off because it was the beauty of his character. A, a, a young man coming to terms of having to do something and make that sacrifice that nobody else could. He was making that choice, but he wanted to change it because he did not want to do what he knew and what he saw. So in turn, he asked me, Kasa, what do you, what am I to you? She then said, we're friends or whatever. So it, 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 to me, to me, it doesn't make much sense for you. And I'm going to say it, let's, this is it. It doesn't make much sense now going back. You're telling me that he was so fucked up in the head he didn't really know what he was doing. But you made the plans to initiate the whole sequence with your dad. You fed him memories and manipulated it to where he saw outcomes. And you even knew he said, what do I say? He even said it. He was, he was even screaming out. Is this what you wanted? Is this what you wanted? He was only, and then after that, Zeke, after that he got blasted out of his father's memories, Zeke expounded on it a bit more, saying, you picked and chose what memories to show, so you manipulated the events that have transpired. So you mean to tell me you were so out of sorts, like, oh my God, I don't know what the fuck's going on. The past and the future and all that is melding together. It's fucking my head up. But you were a master manipulator in that? I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I do not buy it. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't buy it. That's my problem with it. It does not make sense. You can't sell me on the idea that all of a sudden he didn't know what the fuck he was doing. When throughout the whole narrative up until this point were decisions and choices he made. I'm sorry. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I do not buy it. And the reason I don't buy it is another reason. Here's the other reason why I don't buy that bullshit. Because they went to the meeting. Remember, they were supposed to go to that meeting and they were going to have that person, the representative, to talk in their stead and to say, hey, they're not bad and this, this, and that, and whatever, blah, blah, blah. He was sitting in the back, right? He was sitting in the back, chilling. They said what they said at that point in time. Once they said that, once they were like, okay, whatever, blah, blah, turns out the representative they had did not represent the island in the best of light. They basically just said, yeah, fuck it. We got to kill them all. Fuck it. Right? So they all, instead of their representative saying, 
I represent them. They're good. I back them. I understand where they're coming from. It is what it is. They're fine. No, he then in turn basically betrayed them and was like, no, they got to go. Aaron looked up and that's where at that point on that flashback sequence, that's where he decided to stay and chose to stay in Marley and infiltrate. And that's when he wrote them that letter and they went back, right? That's what happened. So again, that was a sequence that you had seen or that you had foreseen because you wanted to, you only went there, you only went there because you wanted to see if it was a possibility of the future changing. That's why you went there. It wasn't because you didn't know what the fuck you were doing. It wasn't that you were out of your mind and time just was not, it was just a, a bunch of a pudding in your head. That wasn't the case. The case was is that you were coherent enough to make the decision to go to see if, in fact, what you had seen can change. That's it. So that's why I say I don't buy this bullshit. I do not buy it. it, it, it I don't buy it. <sighs> guys, I'm telling you, I get heated off of this. Because you guys really do not understand my close people, my close friends. I have raved and ranted about how great this was and how great of a character this guy is. But this chapter alone destroys any credibility to his character. I'm sorry. It does. It does. I'm sorry. So, moving on. I can understand this portion. He's saying, please don't tell me because I said that. I do want her to live happily. I really do, but uh, damn it. Okay. I don't want to die. I want to be here with me, so with all of you. You don't want to die. I understand it. I can understand the fact of someone having that much burden on their shoulder of you know, I, I get that. I get how that can that can fuck you up. I understand. <sighs> that was a lot. So, yeah, don't give up yet. Let's find it. There must be another way. I can't. It's too late. Again, all those people also probably didn't want to die and yet. I there's no way I there's no way to be forgiven from this. So there you go. That's that's how it looks. Even if I wasn't aware of how this would all end with you guys stopping me, I still would have reduced everything in this world to dust. I've annihilated most of the forest, and in a few days, this land will be filled with insects that have grown fat on the carrion. I wanted to turn all the earth into a brand new land, but why? I don't know why but I wanted to and then he goes you don't know why see this this bullshit here you can't make a statement by saying I wanted to turn the earth into a brand new land and then say when he asks you well why do you want to do that I don't know why all of this was just because I don't know sorry I don't know this bullshit this is just, just this utter garbage and that's what I'm saying Look at this with an open mind. As I said in the beginning, guys, pay attention and look at this with an open mind. Do not come in here putting this thing on a thing. Because when I tell you this, when I tell you that I was one of the most Attack on Titan is a God tier anime slash manga, I was. I was that dude. As they say, I was that guy. I I raved about this motherfucker. I raved about it. I ranted and raved about it because I was like, oh, this is this is it. This is the one. This this, this is it. And to get this, guys, open open your mind. And listen to what I'm saying. The points I made are valid. The points I made are valid. There no it's it's it's, it's, it's no denying them. You cannot deny what I said to be true. It's in terms of what I'm saying is if I give you, I'm giving you 
my opinion slash fact based off the narration that has been given to us. So my breakdown of what I'm saying about this chapter is not based on how I feel about the previous chapters. I'm basing it off of the narration that was given to us throughout the story. And I'm saying that they, they don't make sense. They don't fucking add up. They just don't. You can't say that they do. No matter how much of a fan of this show you are or how much of a fan you are of these characters, you cannot say this makes sense in any shape or form. You can't say that. It, it, it's un... It's, it's, it, yeah, it's... It, you can't. You just can't. So... I don't know why, but I wanted to at any cost. Aaron, you are free. Terrible. But anyway, okay. Say so it's now time. I'll erase your memories of the time you spent here. The next time we will meet, we'll be trying to kill each other. But when all this ends, you remember again. Aaron, thank you for turning yourself into a mass murderer for our sake. Not gonna go. I swear I won't let this transgression go to waste. I don't know what happened after I die, but I know that you can go beyond the walls. The one who will save humanity is you. Alright, So that's the flashback sequence, guys. We got a few chapters back. Remember when he was on the boat with Annie and the bird came and sat and flowed down next to him or whatever and da 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 da. So he's dead. Everybody's coming back. Everybody's out of their Titan form. I remember now this is, and she says, Armin, and here she go with his head. And he starts crying because she killed him. Armin, your memories have returned too. Having the memories of that day when Aaron came to visit us. Yeah, I heard all about it. Da, 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 da. Right. So again, I'm, 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 I'm skipping through this as quickly as possible because I've been on a roll. I've, 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 I've been. Just, yeah, this is like I said, this is brand new for me, guys. This is the first time I'm ever doing something like this, so just bear with me. But skipping through all this, most of those, most of you all who will view this have already seen this, so I don't have to really go back into it. I'm just giving my points and, and views on what I thought about it and things of that nature and, and stuff like that. So. Um, yeah, here's everybody that don't have Titan powers, and she left off and ran, and basically, you know the rest of it, guys. She went off, and basically, they, they turned into, in, in so many words, it, there was still no peace. There, there was still, there was still no peace whatsoever. Um, there was still no peace whatsoever. Uh, there, there still was issue with what was going on. Um, it just, it just wasn't. It, it, it wasn't. He didn't leave the world in in a better place. It was literally kind of like he left the world as it kind of is now here, <laughs> right? It wasn't like he did some ultimate, you know, amazing thing. It, it just wasn't. It wasn't there for me as an ending of the, the, the narration and the beauty of of everything. Um, again, I can go into more, more stuff, but it just, yeah, it just, it just, it was a very lackluster ending for me. It was very lackluster ending. Um, it was a very lackluster ending, guys, for me in general. Um, I did, I did not like it. I did not. Um, if I had to rank it out of 10, I would probably give the, the, the chapter itself, I would probably give it a two. I'm very harsh when it comes to grading, um, because it left too many plot devices and, and left too many plot holes that you're still asking. You're talking about, okay, so you, what happened to the Titans? You did they, they just disappeared, right? Because you died. So they disappeared. Okay, great. So then what happened to the hallucinogenia, the worm? It's just gone too, right? Okay, great. 
clearly it was its own entity because it tried to attack and try to latch itself back on to you once your first head blew up and you came back as the colossal titan version of yourself and it was still trying to get to you so clearly it's its own entity so you had no control over it because it thought of its own it had a mindset of its own to be able to transform everybody around it into titan right so that whole situation it is just uh, again is it's too many plot holes in here that 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 we have to deal with and again going back into Aaron's character I'll give you the way I would have ended the story the way I would have ended the story I would have kept everything from chapters one all the way to um 138 i would have kept all that i would have kept i would have kept everything um i would have kept everything but the what i would have done on the um for chapter 139 is aaron wouldn't aaron wouldn't have died i would not have killed aaron no i'm not saying i wouldn't have killed aaron because i liked his character what i'm saying it didn't make much sense to kill him at that point in time it doesn't make sense to i wouldn't have killed them the way that it was what i would have done what i would have done how i would have written it guys is this way i would have written it to the point to where Marion wiped out everybody except for the people that were on his island he wiped out wiped out everybody right and because if you have wiped out everybody you wouldn't have to worry about it outside of entity much like they wiped out all the Titans on the island over that three, four year period, you wipe out everybody, right? The only thing that's left is Paradise, Paradise Island. So you're there, and after he wipes out everybody, he turns himself in. He says, look, I, this is what was needed for you guys to be safe. I would have written it based on how the narration was flowing. Aaron would have combined his sense of freedom and his protection of the people that he loved into his own twisted view on what was best to save the island. And the only way he saw based off of the visions that were fed to him the only way he saw was that way of wiping out everyone except except for Paradise Island. That was the only way. Right. So once he did that, he wouldn't have had a reason to live. And the way he could wipe out Titans is he could still do that. But the only way to do it is for him to be killed. So he would turn himself in let them know the revelation of that and say, hey, look, this is the way, this is the only way to do it. You guys have to kill me. And to see if they will actually do it or not. They do, maybe they don't. But what I would have expounded upon more is what was going on on Paradise at the time. Because remember, when the Wombly was activated, I believe in chapter 122, 123, when the chapter was, when the, when the Wombly was activated, chapters later, they spoke and expounded upon that with him activating that rumbling, it still fucked up Paradise Island. There were still people who died from the rubble of the, of the rumble, right? From the rubble of the rumbling and the things that happened, there were people on the island that died. Innocent people did die on the island. And they started to question his morals of, does he honestly care about that, care about us? He should have, they should have found it, they should have expounded upon that more at the end of your chapter, and at the end, at the very last chapter. And then if they want, and then if he wanted to get him killed, you kill him. If he doesn't want to kill him, great, whatever. But that's what he should have done. He should have written it in that way. Aaron should have succeeded because, again, the narration does not support that all of a sudden his his mind was a bowl of jelly and he didn't know what the fuck he was doing. 
all his answers to questions that even Armin was asking or explanations that Aaron was trying to give was I don't know. He was like, well, what, do you, what, what about, you know, Ymir and, and, and her choosing Mikasa? I don't know. Well, you said you wanted to make the, the brand new land by trampling the land that was here. Why? I don't know. That's not a, that's not a valid argument for anything. And that's why it doesn't make any sense. That's why I have to say, make it make sense to me. Make me understand. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I don't understand that. Again, I wouldn't care. The ending, here's the thing. The ending, you could have kept the ending the way it was, minus the all of a sudden, minus the whole love thing with Mikasa and Aaron. Minus that. And minus, um, yeah, minus that love bullshit. Uh, minus uh, the Ymir bullshit. You could have kept those out. You could have kept those out. Even if you wanted to make Aaron be that person, he still could have wiped everybody out. I want him to wipe everybody out. But he still could have said what he said and was like, look, I'm going to use these type of hell. In my little ended, you could have wiped everybody out and said, okay, I'm using the Titan abilities to in myself and wipe myself out right because apparently if this titan ability has the ability to turn people into titans and transcend time and space you will find a way to to to, to, to get rid of your existence by yourself and spare the burden of them killing you and leaving that on them you could have spared that so you could have found a way to do it right but what I'm saying is they could have he could have still kept the ending the same, but he could have still kept the ending the same of Aaron killing himself. But then them being like, oh, man, you know, then now they have to take away, take, take, you know, Paradise Island and then and, and look at that and try to keep that and, and, you know, rebuild that. But in all honesty, if I have to be honest, I, I rank the chapter. A two out of ten, and and again, I don't want the concept of well, you didn't like it because you didn't understand it. No, I did understand it. The fact is, is that the, the with the narration that we were given all these years, it does not add up to this that you see. It does not add up to that chapter. I'm sorry, it does not. It does not add up to that chapter. None of it, because everything was answered. All those questions were answered. Did Aaron love Mikasa? No. There was no evidence to that. Did Ymir love King Fritz? No. No evidence to that. There was no evidence to that. Again, she had a slave mentality. For her to throw herself in front of the spear that would have killed him, that's just a slave mentality. Again, she was born, she was born into that. And for him to do that, that's that's what happened. She he was born, she was born into that, and that's just what happened. So it, it's not it, it's not it's not crazy to think that maybe she just wanted to do that because she was a slave. And Aaron came along and Aaron was able to free her from that pain. And she actually had a choice and he made her realize you are not a slave. Nor are you a god. God, you are a human being with a choice to make. I can, I will take on the burden of that. I will free you from this burden of having these powers, these so-called powers. I will take on that and I will free you from this. Give me your powers and you are free. I mean, it made perfect sense. That's what I'm saying. Like, How do you fuck that up? Guys, I've been talking and ranting for a while. Again, this is the first time I've ever done something like this. So I want you guys to give this, if you if you don't mind, guys, I want you guys to give this a thumbs up. Give it a like if you liked it. If you disliked it, you disliked it. I get it. I do want the feedback, though. I want you guys to give me a comment. You guys, tell me what you think. Tell me if you like the chapter 
or just be like, hey, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really great. I thought it was a great ending and then wrap things up. Or if you are on more so the side of me, it was like, yeah, the, the chapter was so-so, but it did leave some unanswered questions. And the way the narrative was told prior to this chapter, it doesn't add up to anything that we were given at the end. Feel that way, again, comment, let me know, guys. Um, feel free to, like I said, give it a like. If you don't have a like, give it a thumbs up, guys. It's the first time I'm doing this, this. Let me know how I did. Let me know if you want more. I'll do more content like this if if needs be. It's just, yeah, it's it's been a hell of a ride, I will say this, guys. Um, but, yeah, I'm out. I appreciate it. See you guys later. Peace.